I strongly believe that if we have a magical medicine that could cure all the problems in the world, that would be education. We're now executing the online course in Brazil, but we have distance education projects for the Middle East to prevent the radicalization of teenagers. If we just fight the symptoms of terrorism, there's no way of winning this war. I gave a lecture in 2018 in Beirut for diplomats from 13 countries, and I've proved that the cost of fighting the problem the way the countries are doing is ineffective and expensive. With the growing of Muslim fundamentalism, we Christian communities, uh, I would say, as all the communities, uh, are in one way or another, to a larger or smaller scales, are affected uh, by this growing Muslim fundamentalism. This is a common evil in the world today, not only in the Middle East, but it's a global evil. Therefore, we must join our forces, the states, nations, religions, organizations, societies, uh, to combat, uh, to uproot this evil in the life of societies. Therefore, this problem of violence, religious radicalism, is not an evil related to the Middle East only, but it's a global evil. And therefore, we need to, to face this evil globally. When Islam came about uh, 1400 and some years ago, uh, many of the Christian communities uh, had uh, very important relationships with the Prophet Muhammad and they secured uh, decrees, religious decrees from the Prophet to accept the populations, the Christian populations. And a, a minor detail, but very significant, as Christianity was the dominant religion in the region, and as Islam started to expand during the first 100 or so years of the Hijra, which is about 620 plus, from 620 to 720, most of the Muslims did not have houses of worship, and they actually worshiped inside churches, including in Jerusalem. Uh, unfortunately, people forget these details, and concentrate on the more contemporary period where in fact the Christian and Muslim populations were very much antagonistic. You have some Muslim who, who didn't hear about Christianity. They don't know Christians. And there are also some Christian uh, in some places our, who don't know Islam. So, uh, you, you cannot love persons you don't know. That's why we have to work on the schools and universities to educate young generation to dialogue, to uh, mutual acceptance. And